friend, I just want to say a word or two. Uh, as Brother Ryan had said a few minutes ago, we were about an hour ago, we were on the other side. Over there, visiting to the, uh, on the hill, you might want to say. Now, I've taught this young man over there because what? I've been in some of the meetings, been in some of the places before he got there. So I know some of the things he's already going through. A lot of things that I did, no, no walk through, no will be friends, but I don't care. I know what I did. Basically, what I just basically wanted to say to you is that uh, all my little experience in the military, there, so I guess I'm going to be young, but I guess I'm not going to say that before. But anyway, we, at the age of 23, 1965, I've got a letter, like Dick and Eisen says, greetings. You're hereby to go to a certain place at a certain time, but to Jacksonville for two years. I said, well, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Well, I had a choice not to go to jail. So I made a choice, and I went. And I was basically, like I said, we traveled. So we, from there, we went to Fort Gordon, Fort Pope, Fort Dix, Frankfurt, Germany. That's where we ended up at. Been about 21 months there. Fortunate enough, I was not, well, they called my time schedule. Well, the draft that we got two years, you know, the enlisted had three. So my friends that left from the area went. They were able to go into Vietnam. I stayed in Germany. But I was just like I was in the war because of the ones that went to Vietnam. Came back for R&R. &R. We had to kind of look after them in the barracks. It wasn't easy. I had sometimes sleep with my eye open, try to sleep and go down and check. And then open again because of there's someone with the definite person. So like I say, I was fortunate enough to basically spend two years in there and come back for to meet my wife that waited on me for two years. Well, I always want to know what to call my little sweet kid. So she was waiting on me there. Waiting on for two years. Two years. Two more years. You waited on me. You think I'm going to let her go? No way on this show. So I just want to give you my little experience with the nature of mine. But there again, uh, Ryan, I applaud you because I know what you're facing. So other words, sometimes, like I say, you may be radical sometimes, but there again, he's telling the truth. And like I say, you got to get radical sometimes to get the word over. Right, and I know that for a fact because about everything that you can, in other words, uh, organization you can name, I've been on the board a long time. But the way, I applaud you too. Thank you. 